friend thinks that you're her favorite writer. Is there anybody special? Bethany Joy Lenz, Brett Dalton, Just My Type, premieres next, part of Spring Fling, only on Hallmark Channel. Hallmark Channel Spring Fling. All new original feel good movies Saturday nights at 9. <laughs> you really bring out the best of people. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Yes. And it all starts right now with the premiere of Just My Type. Only on Hallmark Channel, the heart of spring. an examination of transitory communities in modern culture. Keep it simple. Hey, Vanessa, do you have a minute? Sure. I'm allotting space for the next issue. Do you have enough to fill four columns? Yeah, I think so. Shouldn't be a problem. And when should I expect the draft? Um, putting finishing touches on probably end of day tomorrow. Great. Early as usual. Remind me the angle again? Uh, yeah, so it's a lifestyle piece on the exploding yoga industry, hot yoga, cold yoga, goat yoga, but really it's an examination of transitory communities in modern culture. Keep it simple. Remember your audience. They want to know the trends and where to find them. Our job is either reporting on pop culture or creating it. Got it. I appreciate your drive, Vanessa, which is why I wanted to talk to you. Nancy's moving to Los Angeles to open a California office, and we're going to need someone to take over her position as senior lifestyle editor. Oh, well, I happen to know the perfect person. We're considering several people in-house, but I just wanted to let you know you're in the mix. Great. A lot of weight will be given to each candidate's work on this next issue, so let's hope your yoga thing blows everyone away. Well, I feel more than up for the challenge. Thank you. Goat yoga. That's really a thing? Yeah, it's like regular yoga, but goats climb on you like trees. Yeah. This research. Let's go research burgers. <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Stacy and I are having a little get-together this weekend. Why don't you and Jack stop by? Um, Jack and I are no longer together. It's okay. It's, it's for the best. Thanks. You really just pick somebody and make it work? I mean, can you make it work if it's not the right person, though? Now reach for the sky. Hold. Keep holding. And release. Ugh. Ugh. Why do we do this again? This is research. Let's go research burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Starving. Are you kidding me? What? Okay, don't turn around. I said don't turn around. Okay. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Vanessa, what are you, uh, what let me you introduce. Yeah, yeah, I know. We, we met, I mean, not officially, but great, great class. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a small world. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys know each other? This is um, Vanessa. We... we dated for a while, yeah. Oh. yeah. How about you guys? How long you been? It'd be foolish not to take you. But do you want to know what I really think you need? Yeah. I've seen each other. Just a few months. Oh. <laughs> well, um, have a nice evening. You too, you too. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, bye now. now. Well, 
At least we don't have to do yoga ever again. <laughs> I mean, we broke up a while ago. It shouldn't still bother me, but I guess I just wasn't ready to see him with somebody else. The right one is out there. You just have to keep doing what you're doing and focus on you. Yeah, I mean, God knows I've got enough to focus on with work. How is work, by the way? Mm. I've got to tell you, I'm up for a huge promotion. See? Congratulations. Thank you. Well, I don't have it yet. Okay, what's the job? It's senior lifestyle editor. I'd have a lot more responsibility, a lot more autonomy. I'd get to write articles that have more substance. I think it's exactly what I need. They'd be foolish not to take you. But do you want to know what I really think you need? Yeah. A vacation. I mean, when was the last time you took some time away to just relax and recharge? When do I have time? Okay. Look, I'm going away this weekend, and I'm going to my parents' bed and breakfast up at Thompson Lake. It's in this adorable little town in upstate Washington, and it is so, so beautiful this time of year. And the season for them doesn't kick off until Founder's Day, so they have no guests until then. It's simple, but it's the perfect place to unwind, and it would just be you and me and the fresh spring air. It'll be fun. I'm really not sure I should take off right now. All you do is work. You work all the time. I know, but it's bad timing right now. And you say that all the time. I really have to work for this promotion. You'll just be away for... ...the weekend, and you'll come back on Monday. Well, I could tell my boss I'd be done writing tomorrow. Okay, let's do it. Yes! Just for the weekend. Just for the weekend. Girls trip! Girls trip! Yes! yes. Waiting for the memories of all the places we will see Reaching out, I'm breathing in the world And every day ahead of us Remembering the dream we have Ready for this moment to Okay, well, you take care of waters, and I'll take care of gas. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Can you fill it up with premium, please? Martin Claiborne. The man pumping our gas. How do you know the name of the guy pumping our gas? Because he's a famous writer. He's the master of mystery. Why would the master of mystery be pumping our gas? That's my original question. How do you know it's him? Because I went to one of his book signings a few years ago. I know what he looks like. Not convinced. I don't. Here. Okay. The gun. That's a dog. That That is his... Martin Claiborne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that a lot. Dog, oh, Ernie! Wait, how do you know the name of his dog? All Claiborne fans know Ernie. I'm gonna go talk to him. No, don't, don't, don't. What are you gonna say? I'm first going to apologize for mistaking him for being our gas attendant, and then I'm gonna ask him to sign your book. Just no, 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 I don't wanna be that person. You know the name of his dog. You already are that person. No, I'm not. I'm not like a crazy fan. A little bit. No, I only went to one book signing. Yeah, I went to one. All right, uh. Anything else I can do for you? Change the oil? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good, thank you. Yeah, uh, my friend thinks that you're her favorite writer and she wants you to sign her book. You look a lot like him. Let me guess, Martin Claiborne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot, but no, sorry. Oh. Anyway, uh, if there's nothing else I can do for you. I'm sorry about the misunderstanding. No worries at all. Hey, Martin. What was it? It's a problem with the alternator. Ah. Why did he lie? I don't understand. He's like the J.D. Salinger of mystery writers. He's sold okay. millions of books. He's got fans all over the world. And five years ago, he just disappeared. I mean, I'd heard rumors he was out west, but... Is he still writing? Yeah, he still writes. He's more popular than ever. I see you really are a fan. I am. Yeah, his early books inspired me to write my own. Uh, you wrote a book? Yeah, well, I didn't write... <laughs> oh, Dad! <laughs> this is Vanessa. Oh, actually, I didn't. I wrote a few chapters and then... Why didn't I know about this? Because it's not even worth mentioning. If my best friend writes a book, it's worth mentioning. It's a pipe dream that I had years ago. No, I had no idea. Yeah. Okay, well, this conversation is not over. And here we are. This is 
Vanessa. Hi. Hi. Gosh, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you guys. So glad you're here. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. Well, then let's uh, let's get you settled in. Okay. Uh, may I? Sure. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, I hope you'll be comfortable in here. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Closet, bathroom. Uh, TV is, um... Uh, There's a whole bunch of books and board games down the lobby. Even better. Thank you. You guys hungry? Yes. yes. Great, I'll whip you up some. Make yourselves at home. Okay. What is stopping you? Well, for starters, I wouldn't know where to find them. All right. You should interview Martin for the magazine. You see scared me. Sorry. I know I should have knocked, but I was just too excited by my brilliant idea. What am I, what am I supposed to do? Just go knock on his door, wherever that is, and say hi? You don't know me, but I'd like you to grant me your only interview in the last five years. Yes. Wait, why doesn't he do interviews? Because he doesn't do any press or public appearances. Well, he needs to get over that. Okay, I love your enthusiasm, but you are clearly delirious. You need to go to sleep. Okay, but this discussion isn't over. Okay. It's a good here. idea. Okay, what is stopping you? Well, for starters, I wouldn't know where to find them. All right, well then let's review. He's on a first name basis with a gas station attendant, which tells us he's a local. I'm a journalist. I know how to find him if I want to. Just, look, I want to respect his privacy. Okay. Mom, do you know any famous writers that live in the area? Oh, we've got two. There's Earl Harper, who does the monthly newsletter. And then there's Marty, who lives up by the lake. You guys know Martin Claypool? Oh, of course we do. I mean, we know all the residents around here. I mean, it's funny you should mention him because we actually have a package for him that was delivered to us by mistake. You're welcome to take it up there if you like. Oh, gee, I'd love that. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm. Um, I gotta take this. <laughs> wow. Your parents know a legend. Who knew? I uh, prefer reading westerns myself, but I hear he's a pretty good writer. Yeah, he's amazing. He's the best. He, he's actually. He's Famous recluse. So it's wild that I found him up here, and your daughter, who I love like a sister, thinks I should interview him. Oh, well, he's always been very friendly to Stanley and me, involved in town meetings, sponsors our Founders Day celebration every year. But other than that, he's pretty private, and we don't pry. Uh, the code in these parts is don't stick your nose in other people's business. Well, I heard he was pretty wild in his younger days. Rude. Tell me what I heard. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to take a bite, Mom? Maybe. Well, this is about the best thing I've ever tasted. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm. Um, I gotta take this. Mm. Hi. Hi, Peter. Hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. I just got out of a meeting with the editors, and it looks like they're leaning towards another candidate for the job. Um, what did they say? Why? This person has consistently landed some, some pretty big interviews. I have something new. What about your yoga story? The yoga story's fine, but save it for later. I have something, um... I have something huge. How huge? What if I told you that I could get an all-access profile of the one and only Martin Claiborne? What? What have I done? Okay, let's review. What exactly did you say? I said that I got an all-access exclusive with Martin Claiborne, which is the biggest cover story the magazine's ever had. And what did Peter say? He said that if I could deliver, the promotion is probably mine. Most definitely mine. That's good. Except for the fact that Martin hasn't agreed to anything yet. No, minor detail. Look at it as motivation, okay? You're living your motto. You're going boldly in the direction of your dreams. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, it's my time. Why shouldn't I get what I want? Exactly. Okay, and it's not even technically a lie, because how do you know what he's gonna say if you haven't even asked him yet? That's true. Okay, so what's your plan? You do have a plan, right? <laughs> this is your plan? Yeah, you got a better one? No. Then this is my plan. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, thanks. Oh, 
stay, Ernie. Hi. Hi. Can um, I help you? I'm Vanessa, and this is my friend Amber. The ones from the gas station. <laughs> yeah. Did you follow me here? No, of course not. That would be so weird. Um, no, Amber's parents live in town. You might. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know them, Stan and Ruth. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Very nice oh. people. Uh, is this That's for me? That's for you, yes. In fact, Stan was going to bring it, but then I said to myself, well, Vanessa, you're going down to the lake anyway, so might as well just bring it yourself. So <laughs> here I am, and then there yeah. it is. Got to get back to work now, so. Sure. Take good care now. Oh, 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 you excited, Ernie? Me too. I quit. I quit. I can't do this anymore. No, you'll never get another chance at this. We can figure this out. What are we going to say? Yeah. No. Yep. How's my favorite client? Cassidy, how can I help you? I just wanted to check in on how the new book is coming. There is no new book. I told you that, Cass. No, you said you had writer's block. I was hoping it had passed. Nope. Still got it. Whatever you end up writing, you're going to knock it out of the park. You always do. Well, thank you. I uh, appreciate that. I just don't want to get your hopes up. You'll keep me posted? I promise. Bye, Cassidy. <sighs> Dream job. Dream promotion. Get the job That's done. That's right. Here we go. Take good care. Stay, 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 stay. Us again! <laughs> uh, uh. Hi, sorry, this won't take but a moment. My name is Vanessa. Yeah, we covered that on the last visit. We did. I work for a lifestyle magazine. I'll give you my card. Oh, your magazine subscription. No, I, I write. I'm a writer for the magazine. I thought that maybe... Let me guess. You want to do a story. I think your fans would love to know what you've been up to. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I'll tell you what I told every reporter for the last five years. Thanks, but no thanks. Take good care. So it remains to be seen if this new mystery man's talent will sustain him, but by the looks of it, Claiborne is more of a cliché, concerned more with nightlife and fame than creating any lasting legacy. That was the last press he ever did. I mean, no wonder he doesn't want to do interviews. You writers can be so brutal. Well, at least you try. That's the important thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I probably should just call Peter and tell him the bad news. No, you can't throw in the towel so soon. Thank you. What am I supposed to do? Tall as pine, right there. Can you see it? Uh, oh, I can't, like, tie him to a chair and force him to talk to me. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Joking. Don't stay up too late. We're hitting the lake early tomorrow. How, how early is early? Up and at them, girls. Those fish won't catch themselves. Okay. A long-tailed Jaeger. Oh, is that a good thing or? Uh, let's let our guests take a look. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, it's 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 about halfway up the tallest pine right there. Can you see it? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, they're migrant birds. They come from hundreds of miles away. They only stay a couple of months, so it's a rare sight. I don't believe it. But it's him. What? It's him. It's Martin. <gasps> it's the rarest of all birds, the reclusive Claiborne. <laughs> I say we just pack up and head back into town for lunch. This might be fake giving you another chance. I like the way you think. <laughs>
Sir, so you want to do this? Yeah, yeah. You guys should. Go ahead, and I will catch up with you later. Okay, then let's go over your plan of attack. I don't have a plan, and it's not an attack. I'm definitely just going to go talk to him. I think I should strike up a conversation about a common interest, and that common interest will be fishing. You have never fished a day in your life. I have so. When? Today. I'm going to improvise. Ah, uh, well, then you'll want to accessorize. Hey, thanks for being on my side. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Yes, I'm going to be fine. This is great. I've got my phone. I will text you when I'm ready to get picked up. Wish me luck. I'm going to go catch a big fish. Wow. I'm going boldly. I'm starting to wish you had a different motto. Hey. Hey, Vanessa. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I uh, join you? Sure. Sure, okay. why not? Great. What are you fishing for? Ah, uh, what am I fishing for? That's a good question. Really good question. Okay. You want to get back to me on that? <laughs> You're funny. No, I'm going to uh, I'm going to fish for uh, catfish today. Wow, catfish. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that this... Okay. Yeah, I... Lake even had catfish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lots of them. I'm gonna... I'm gonna catch them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So what do you plan to use for the catfish? What am I gonna use? You hear that, Ernie? He wants to know what I'm gonna use. I mean, my, my fishing pole, of course. Uh... No, no, I meant what, uh, what type of bait are you you're going to use? A uh, jig, spinner bait, sinker? Yeah, I mean, probably just one of each and just really increase my odds. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Feeling yeah. that? Mm hmm. All right. Okay. So, oh, oh, that's pretty good. There we go. Here it goes. Okay. Yeah. I I think you have to release the bail in order for that to. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I know. I, I, um, I like to do some practice throws before I, uh, really get going. So. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should Ow. just oh. help you. Don't. Care, I, careful. Okay. Careful. Okay. It's you got to get it. If I. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Thank you. You're off the hook. <laughs> yeah, I should probably get going anyway. Yeah, you're gonna go? I have some work to do. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. If you like me. <laughs> go ahead. Hi. All right. Me too, I work. Actually, I should probably get some work done too. Ah, uh, I should go. You're right. Really? You just got here. Yeah, but I've had a long morning and the fish aren't really biting today, you know? Okay, great. Well, yeah, I'll just call my ride. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no. What are you, what are you doing? I'm uh, trying to get some service. I don't have any reception. It's okay, you know, she'll, she'll probably just come looking for me, my friend, if I don't come back. Ernie, let's go. Oh, hey, hey. Ernie. <laughs> Buddy, how are you? Ernie. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he likes me. <laughs> he said hi. All right. Ernie oh, has spoken. I have to go into town anyway, so I will give you a ride. Great. Okay. Thanks. Follow me. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, uh, look, this will just take a second, okay. but, uh, Make stuff at home, just not too at home. Really thought you could pass yourself off as a fisherman, huh? Fisherwoman, thank you very much. I just, uh, just excited to talk to my favorite author. Well, I'm flattered, but... I help out at the town hall meeting. I fish in the mornings, actually. Last time I opened up my personal life to a journalist, let's just say, 
Didn't end well. Yeah. I know. I know what interview you're talking about. And it didn't paint you in the best light. But don't you think this would be a great chance to, you know, set the record straight? Look, I am done caring about what people think of me. Wow, must be nice. You don't think it's valuable to connect with your fans, let them know where you've been, how you live, what makes you tick? I can't tell you what comfort your books have brought me. They've inspired me. Look, I'm just a regular guy. I ride my horses. I help out at the town hall meeting. I fish in the mornings, actually fish. I just try and be a good neighbor, okay? That's about it. I think there's more to you than that. Which one? Which one what? Which book inspired you? Well, Burden of Proof was a game changer. And I loved the case of the Blue Rose. I am really enjoying circumstantial evidence. Good. Good, Good to know. Maybe you do care what people think. We should get going. <laughs> Hi, Peter. <laughs> I'm sure your friend is wondering where you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure she is. Are you sure it's not too much trouble? I guess I could call it. Ask me again, I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> yeah, but then you'd be stuck here with me. Good point. Bye, Ernie. <laughs> Thank you for the ride. Hope I didn't completely ruin your day. It was definitely entertaining. I'd like to continue our conversation. Look, I wish I could help you, but the answer's still no. Sorry. Yeah. Hi, Peter. I just wanted to check in and see how the article is coming along. Is he as difficult as people say? You know what? Don't tell me. I'll wait till I read a draft. Uh, listen, Peter, I, uh, I have something I have to tell you. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you about my meeting with Jerry in ad sales. He's already sold two full-page ads based on this Claiborne interview. Vanessa, I think this could be one of our biggest sellers, so I'm clearing some serious space for you. I'm giving you ten columns. Ten columns? Wow. And I'm going to see if we can get Franco to do the accompanying photo spread and cover shot. Now keep in mind, we're up against an aggressive deadline. But I'm sorry, I cut you off. You're gonna tell me something. Right, right. Uh, I, I, uh, I wanted to tell you that, um... Let's face it, I am sunk. And what are you girls up to today? Uh, I need more time. I'm gonna stay for an extra week. Well, that's pushing it a little. I trust you'll get there. I'm really proud of you, Vanessa. If I told you when I first hired you that in a few short years you'd be doing an authorized cover story on one of the best-selling authors in the world, what would you have said? I'd have said you were crazy. Keep up the good work. I'll check in with you later. Okay. Good night, Peter. You're gonna get fired. The good news is you bought some time. Well, figure something out. Babe, let's face it, I am sunk. And what are you girls up to today? Oh, uh, we're gonna go into town, do a little shopping, maybe some plotting. How about you two? I am gonna put a fresh coat of paint on the back room. Founders weekend is coming up and we need as much space as possible. <laughs> I'm off to the uh, town hall meeting. Can we come? Well, uh, sure, I can't promise you it's going to be very exciting. Oh, I think it will be. All in favor of moving Taco Tuesday to Wednesday next week to avoid conflict with uh, movie in the park night? Oh. Okay. Those opposed? Applause for Dottie, please. Thank, Thank you very much. My pleasure. Opposed? No. Duly noted, Gus. Next item on the agenda is, in fact, the Founders' Day celebration. I'm going to turn this over to Martin because he, once again, is serving as the uh, head of the organizing committee. So it's all yours, sir. Thank you, Stanley. Um, 
Well, it's shaping up to be another great Founders Day celebration this year. What is this Founders Day that everybody's talking about? It's this big celebration of how the town came to be. There's like food, dancing, it's a whole big thing. Now, we do need help with the raffle, so if anyone would like to do that. Wait a minute. Gus, I don't see your name down here, so I'm going to write the arm. <laughs> um, I would like to point out that Dottie has graciously agreed to do our banners this year. So, round of applause for Dottie, please. <laughs> so, Thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, and also new this year is the face painting station for the kids. So, if anyone knows anyone who's good with kids, who has any artistic... I'd love to. Hey! Well, wow, thank you, Lauren. You are hereby anointed resident facial artist. <laughs> nice. All right, so uh, we saw ice cream. Again, my favorite, and uh, flowers as well. Go. Catch up with you at my parents. Okay. Oh, beautiful. All right. Thank you very much, and that is a good choice. Thank you again, Susan. All right, we'll... Hello again. Uh, you know, I move to get away from people like you. Well, you don't even... Well, and that's all I want to do. I want to move people. That's all I've ever wanted to do. And you know me. I know that you won't take no for an answer. Okay. Okay. I won't ask you again. I just really want you to think about the opportunity that you have to let the world know who you really are. Anything that you want people to know. Anything at all. It's free publicity. You could tease your next novel. Look, I don't need the publicity. My last five books sold two million copies. So, why you? Because I care. You're not an interview conquest on a checklist for me. You're an artist, and I can relate. I, I know what it's like to craft a story and fall in love with your characters. You have to when you want to tell a story that moves people. And that's all I want to do. I want to move people. That's all I've ever wanted to do. And I'm really good at it. And. I think you should give me a chance. Why Shadows of Doubt? Yesterday, when you listed my books that inspired you, you didn't say Shadows of Doubt. I'm just curious why. Do you really want to know? Yeah, kind of. I thought your main character was predictable. He's the grizzled detective who destroys everything that he cares about in favor of his career, and it's glorified. He's made out to be a hero for you. Career only. I'll give you three interviews, half an hour each. It, but the truth is, he destroyed everything that he loves because he didn't want to get hurt first. I felt like he was playing it safe, and and it's yes, a cop out. But aren't we all? Maybe. For me, that's what I've always loved about your characters. They take chances. They make themselves vulnerable. Which is what I'm asking of you. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just being honest. I have some ground rules. We keep this limited to my writing career only. I'll give you three interviews, half an hour each. No deal. I have to be able to ask you whatever I want, and I want to shadow you for an all-access, unvarnished account of how you live and work. It's the only way to do it right, and you know it. Fine. But with one caveat. I get to read the story before it goes to print. That's my insurance that I'm not being misrepresented. Fine. But I expect nothing but complete and total honesty. Fine. And you get to help me with Founders Day celebration. Get to. Oh, yeah. Big job. So. Please. I think he has something to say, and I guess I got him to trust me. I gave him some constructive. No. Deal. Deal. We start tomorrow, bright and early. Why did you just say yes? Maybe there is something that I want the world to know. Good. The interview hasn't started yet, okay. so.
Oh, good morning, sunshine. Ah, ready for the day? So, uh, I was thinking we could find a little cafe, get some coffee, talk about your early work and influences, and um, I'm also really interested in how your writing has evolved over the years. Well, lucky for you, we are headed to the home of someone who makes the best cup of coffee in town. Okay. Oh, probably should have told you we wear work boots. Mm. Oh, I don't, I don't own work boots. I guess. I see you brought some help. Well, we'll see. Gus, Hi. this is Vanessa. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you, too. Hi. I'm really grateful for your help, Martin. Well, we're happy to help, aren't we? Yeah. Sure. Can't have your cattle wandering off now, can we? Huh? Especially since you're not 100%. Oh, well, that's what I get for trying to put the gate up on my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's over here. I'll show you. All right. Come on. I thought we were going to do coffee. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Just get them both lined up now. Okay. So. I'm not sure I want to be a writer. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. How yep. did you learn how to become such a handyman? Can we talk about that later? We are trying to hang a gate here. Uh, no, I'm hanging fences. You're answering questions. <sighs> All right, fine. Uh, my dad was always good with a hammer. He taught us the value of a hard day's work. What about your childhood? I know you were born in the Midwest, but where did you spend your teenage years? I grew up all over the place, really. Um, my dad was a teacher. My mom was a, a pilot in the military. There it is. Okay, okay. I'll hold. Now you just hammered in okay. place, okay? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, where do, where do I... Right put... here. All right. Nice and hard. Yep. Ha! There you go. That's the spirit. Oh, One more good. for good measure. That's it. All right. <laughs> So why did you decide to become a writer? Oh, still not sure I want to be a writer. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That was just a line. Uh, I was always shy as a kid. It's hard for me to make friends, and especially with us moving all the time. When I was 10, I, I created this imaginary character named Danny Boyd. I had no idea where the name came from. It just sort of wrote itself. And, I wrote all this backstory and wrote down every last detail. Yeah, I guess that's where it all started. I've been creating characters ever since. Why mystery? Oh, well, that's an easy one. Uh, jigsaw puzzles. I love them. The best writers are the ones who live in life, not watching from the sidelines. Yeah. Mystery novels are just characters solving problems. And when you do it right, it all falls into place. Hey, nice work. Yeah, all right. You done already? Oh yeah. <laughs> She's a keeper. God bless you. <laughs> hey, hear that? Gus says I'm a keeper. Yeah, well, Gus says a lot of things. I heard that. All right. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, um, thank you for jumping in and helping out today. I enjoyed it. Well, you know what they say. The best writers are the ones who live in life, not watching from the sidelines. Hmm. Yeah. Who are your favorite writers? Who inspired you the most? <laughs> you never stop interviewing, do you? Hemingway. Well, you probably could have guessed that with the name of my dog. Ernie, of course. Oh my gosh, you know, when I was in eighth grade, I had a lizard named Steinbeck. No way. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, um, yeah. what did helping out Gus have to do with the Founders Day celebration? Nothing. Just helping a neighbor who needed a hand. <laughs> uh, well, I also wanted to see who you were. All right. Thank you. Hey, yeah. you know, for a writer, you're terribly fake. 
Sirma. What do you have in store for me today? I'm prepared. No, no, no. you don't. You don't need the boots for today. All right. No, we're just uh, picking up something from somebody. Great, I'm prepared for that too. All right. Thank you. Hey, hey yeah. for a writer, you're terribly vague. Well, I am a mystery writer. Details, please. Okay. Uh, her name is Dottie Chambers. She is a local artist, and we're picking up some banners for Founders Day celebration. Why was that so hard? Well, come on in. Where are you from, Vanessa? Uh, Portland. Oh, hope you're having a good time here. It's been amazing. I'm actually a writer in town doing an article on Martin. Oh, well, if you need anybody to tell you what a great neighbor Martin is, just <laughs> give me a call. I will take you up on that. <laughs> wow, you can make me blush, Dottie. <laughs> well, they're over here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sweet. So... You coming to the Founders Day celebration? Oh. These are gorgeous, Dottie. Thank you so much for doing these. Oh, don't mention it. Any excuse to get the paintbrushes out? These are amazing. No, thank you. Did you take them yourself? Yeah, and thousands more. Wow. And you do portraits also? Yeah, when I get a chance. They're really exceptional. No, you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> Hey guys, I almost forgot. A little something for you later. In case you get hungry while you're out running errands. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. That's sweet. So, you coming to the Founders Day celebration next Saturday? Um, no, I'm gonna be back in Portland, so. Oh, that's a shame. I know, I keep telling her she's missing out. <laughs> Well, thank you again for these, Dottie. They're beautiful. <laughs> you two have a great day. Thanks, Dottie. Bye. Bye. Okay, so, Founder's Day. I want details. Well, the legend goes that uh, in the spring of 1857, a rancher named Festus Thompson won the town in a poker game with a wealthy landowner. Did I miss it, the city? What, the noise and traffic? <laughs> Everyone bumping. Crime? Apparently there was only uh, $3 in the pot, too. <laughs> Quite a deal. Yeah, I'll say. So, Thompson fell in love with the place, and when he settled it, he named it after himself. <laughs> Thompson Lake. So, it's both a celebration of spring and the birth of our town. It's a really fun time, actually. Kind of sad you're not going to be here. Yeah, me too. It's really important to you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I just think it's important for people to come together and get to know their neighbor. It's a sense of community I never really had in the big city. Hmm. You ever miss it, the city? What, the noise and traffic? <laughs> Everyone bumping into each other? No, no, not really. Not even a little bit? No, this is my home now. So why here? Why Thompson Lake? Sometimes you just know. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, kind of like a relationship, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it is. Speaking of which, um, is there anybody special in your life? No. Impressive segue. <laughs> Thank you, I'm a professional. <laughs> uh, no, no, I can't say that there is. Oh, he's cute. Yes. Is he single? Yes. Okay. You never wanted to get married or have a family? This is, this is the life I chose. And, uh, that's all I really used to say about that. Oh, 
us. He reveals some, and then he shuts down, and then he opens up, and it's like bits and pieces. You know? It'll take time, though. I mean, imagine divulging your entire life to a stranger knowing millions of people are going to read it. Yeah. I just don't have much time. So is he what you thought? Um, he's got a very gentle and caring side. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> and, um, you know, he's not quite the curmudgeon everybody thought he was. He's actually pretty easy to be here, so that's nice. He's cute. Yes. Is he single? Yes. Why? Because you guys would make a cute couple. Okay, you know what? I'm trying to focus on my work right now, so I just want to keep this professional. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed because who knows what he has in store for me tomorrow. But you can't tell me you haven't been lost in those amazing blue eyes. Brown. Oh, yeah, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say, this version of you is very different from the cosmopolitan Martin Claiborne that burst onto the literary scene years ago. Well, afraid that guy's long gone. Yeah, you were, um, you were telling me yesterday about how you ended up here. Impressive segue. Good. Learn from the best. <laughs> the answer is no. Just Thompson Lake, care to elaborate? So, uh, not much to elaborate on. Well, there are a million quiet places with nice people. Why settle down here? I don't know. Some things can't be described. Now that is an interesting statement from a writer. Well, I don't know. You're a writer. How would you describe what home means to you? Um... Fair enough. Yeah, it can be really hard to put into words the things that we love. Speaking of love, you, uh, have anyone special back at home? Impressive segue. It's good. Learn from the best. <laughs> the answer is no. Just no? You care to elaborate? Uh, not really. There's not much to elaborate on. Okay. <laughs> you think he's trying to tell us something? I mean, how can you deny that face? I can't. Aww. Oh. Come here. Oh. You want me to get the ball? Oh. Okay, that's it. I will throw the ball, but you have to answer some questions first. Are you ready? Uh -oh. Okay. What is Martin's greatest fear? It's probably too hard, it's probably too hard. Okay, what is Martin's favorite color? Ah, oh, you really are loyal. Uh, you got good taste. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Blue. And, uh, I'm afraid that if I stop writing, no one would care. <laughs> I think he likes you. <laughs> Uh, you got good taste. Thank you. Ah, 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 our agreement did not include snooping. Fine. Do you cook a lot? When I'm hungry, yeah. <laughs> you? No, I find some things are better left to the professionals. Well, hope I don't disappoint then. Hmm. What about this old dinosaur? Does this work? Yes. What I used to write. <gasps> you write on this? Yep. What do you do when you mess up? Start the page over, which forces me to mess up a lot less. Hey, but I'm interested, so tell me. No, no. You wrote all your novels on this. Every last one. Yeah, it's like an old friend. I saw that in a pawn shop in New York. Just out of college, it was uh, 125 bucks, which was 125 more bucks than I could afford. But that night I decided, I'm gonna make that thing pay for itself. Three weeks later, finished my first novel. Three weeks? Mm-hmm. 
That's unbelievable. It took me a year and a half, and I only got past chapter four, and that's with spell check. Wait a minute. You never said you were a novelist. I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm a journalist, and this interview is about you, not me. Oh, okay. But I'm interested, so tell me. No, no, it's nothing. Come on, come on, don't downplay it. Let's hear it. Okay, all I ever wanted to do was be a novelist. That's what I set out to do after college, um, but... But? I don't know, life went by and it was such a long time ago. So, why did you give up? I didn't say I gave up. Well, I did say you didn't finish it. No, I didn't finish it, but I did need to earn a living. And, um, I don't know, trying to be a novelist, that's, that's, I don't know if I'm cut out for that. So it's condemned to a life in a drawer somewhere? <laughs> I'll tell you. Get your submission and would be pleased to publish your novel, Burden of Proof. Nothing was the same after that. What? I will read your novel when you finish it. Oh, that's a big fat no. I sent it out already. I sent it to half a dozen people with sample chapters and query letters, and all I got back was a half a dozen rejection letters. And honestly, I just don't, I'm not cut out for it. It's like probably just not meant to be. My first novel was rejected. It was? Oh, yeah. By who? Well, funny you should ask. Everyone. Well, everyone but one. <laughs> and one is all you need. Dear Mr. Claiborne, we've received your submission and would be pleased to publish your novel, Burden of Proof. Nothing was the same after that. I had no idea you'd been rejected. Well, nobody does. The official story is that I was a prodigy, plucked out of obscurity, had publishing houses in a bidding war over my first novel. Yeah, an overnight success. Well, so the story goes. I was in my early 20s, enjoying success, and everything was just so exciting. But then... But then what? Soup's ready. <laughs> oh. Hi. I'm on the walk. I thought they were pretty. They are pretty. Yeah. They are also poisonous. Uh, I'll, I'll take them out. Are you sure? Yeah. It's the least I can do. Okay. No talking about me. I can't promise that. Come on. Come here, babe. Come on. You want to go? You want to go for a walk? Good boy. Go back inside. Come on. Hey. Hope you're hungry. Smells amazing. What are those? Oh, um, I found them on the walk. I thought they were pretty. They are pretty. Yeah. They are also poisonous. All right. Now, bad news is this is going to get crazy itchy. But the good news is, this should all be cleared up by tomorrow. Unless you scratch. So, hands up. Oh, come on, this is so embarrassing. Just in case, just in case. This one too. There you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Tricky. Need a hand. Can I take mine to go? No. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Actually, um, I forgot I have to do snow. I spent all afternoon making this soup. You are not going anywhere till you try it. Oh, you go. so embarrassing. Oh, it's really good. Thank you. And I'm not just saying that because you're feeding me like a little baby. <laughs> Finish your soup. Hello? Hey! Hey! We're in here! Oh, oh. Oh yeah. no! Blanket, Blanket flowers? You guessed it. Honey. Stanley. Hey, Bart. Nice to see you. Martin. Ruth, nice to see you, Amber. Hi. 
Well, she's all yours. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Actually, um, I forgot. I have to do some, some writing tomorrow. So uh, I was hoping that, that we could take the day off. I'm going to be holed up all day anyway. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Good. All right. Well, night all. Remember no scratching. Right. Uh. <laughs> so what happened? He was making me lunch and I walked Ernie and saw some flowers. He made you lunch? Yeah. Uh-oh. What? Was it like there's peanut butter in the fridge, help yourself kind of lunch, or? He made soup. I think he likes you. I think he likes cooking. Dad, do you like cooking? Yep. Do you ever make mom soup? No. And they're in love. You were... What? You know how these subjects can be. They're like, um... I like onions. You have to just, you know, I mean, this is, this conversation is closed. All right. Hi, Peter. Hey. Uh, Vanessa, I, I don't mean to, to micromanage, but I really need to see pages. Well, I'm working on it. You know, it takes time. Are you stalling? Is something wrong? Please don't tell me something's wrong. No, nothing's wrong. I'm not stalling. Everything's everything's great. Why? Why do you ask? Because I ran into Martin's agent and she said she hadn't heard anything about an interview, which is a, a little disconcerting. Well, I mean, they probably just don't have the open and honest working relationship that you and I do. Everything's going great, honestly. You know. What? You know how these subjects can be. They're like, um, they're like onions. You have to just like keep peeling back layers, which I am doing. Okay, then why no pages? Because, uh, well, I'm, I'm still formulating my angle. You see, I, I happen to know that's a writer speak, for I have no idea what this story is about. Okay, here's the angle. The puzzling life of Martin Claiborne. Why the man of mystery ditched high society for serenity. I like it. And you're sure you're getting what you need? I definitely am. Um, I'm, uh... I'm learning more about him every day. Okay, good, good, great. By the way, Franco's agreed to do the photo spread. We're gonna... I'll buy that. Oh. I'm gonna fly him up the day after tomorrow. Okay. Oh, no, not Franco. I mean, Franco's great, but uh, I just, uh, I don't think he's quite right for this job. You got a better idea? There's a local lady here, and her name is Dottie, and she's great. She's a really good photographer. Martin's very comfortable with her, and I think she would lend some real local authenticity to the piece. If you think she can do it? Yes, I definitely think she can. Okay, so got to go, but thanks, Peter. Thanks so much for checking in. Bye. Okay, yeah, what's going on? Martin told me he was going to be holed up writing all day. Okay, so? So what's he doing? What's he doing? Who is that? Who is he with? Hmm. If only we knew someone whose job it is to find the answers to all of these questions. Why? Investigate. What's the difference? One sounds worse. I'll buy that. Oh. That picture says it. You see? She's flying around wondering what's the next adventure. That's a sweet time. As the sun fell into a beautiful sunset. Audrey the Owl. Do you think they're dating? No, it's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. They're probably just good friends. Oh, oh. was that a more than friend smile? Mm -hmm. I think so. Well, clearly this calls for more spying. Investigating. Whatever. I just don't understand. Why, why wouldn't he tell me? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Something is harmless? Maybe he just forgot. Unless it's not harmless and he's hiding it from me. Okay, you're starting to sound a wee bit jealous. I'm jealous. I'm just doing my job. We agreed on total honesty and he's keeping something from me. There's a simple solution to all this. Just ask him. I did. I asked him if there was someone special. He said no. Then you have to take him at his word. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a silly thing to lie about. Maybe they're just starting to date. You know, there's a reason he's keeping this part of his life private. Maybe he just doesn't feel safe enough to open up to you yet. I think we've got it. 
Good. Yeah. We've uh, got enough, don't you? Yeah, I think so. We've got some on the porch, some behind the typewriter, playing fetch with Ernie. It's great. I trust you. Good. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> Not so bad, huh? Uh, yeah. They're beautiful. You want to say hello? Okay. There we go. Hi, who's this? Who's this? Well, this is Bella. I don't have a treat for you. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Hey. Hey. Sorry. Hi, Bella. She's a real sweetheart. She's a rescue. She likes the nibble, but <laughs> she is sweet. This one. <laughs> and this over here is Rocket. He's a good boy. He's just uh, got a bit of a temper. Aww. Uh, I don't know. He seems sweet enough. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's good work today, didn't you? Oh, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. You know, the aggressive ones are usually just scared. They want to know that they can trust you. You're not going to hurt them. Remember when you said you want us to know why I settled down Thompson Lake? Yeah. I said that I would have to show. I was engaged. I was in a happy, committed. Well, uh, here it is. Wow. Exactly what I said the first time I saw it. Figured if I can't be inspired here, I'm beyond hope. Oh. So, uh, I know you did your research on me. Yeah, yes. Well, what little there is to do. So, you know my story. I know that you became a celebrity author and you kind of got caught up in the literary high life. Right. right. Well, uh, there's fiction and then there's reality. The truth is, I was engaged. I was in a happy, committed relationship. All I really wanted to do was just get married, settle down. What happened? Well, we met in New York just after college, and I kept putting off marriage till I had some success. Mm -hmm. Still unpublished then. And then once I did have success with my first book, just, I don't know, everything changed. I suddenly had all these people telling me where to go, what parties to attend, how to play the game. According to my agent, it was all the creator persona. This celebrity writer, they thought it would help sell more books. And, and it worked. I just hated it, you know? After that, I wanted nothing to do with celebrity. Just a little too well. What happened to your fiance? Oh, she wanted nothing to do with the spotlight. No, well, wasn't what she signed up for. So, um, so we broke up. I'm sorry. It must have been painful. Yeah, it was. And uh, and then you left New York when? Not long thereafter. Um, I agreed to let a journalist like yourself uh, tag along, do profile, and when the article came out, it was like I didn't even recognize myself. It was like this character that I helped write and. I just hated it, you know? After that, I wanted nothing to do with celebrity life either. So, um, I packed up my stuff, headed west. No destination, just drove. I stopped at little towns along the way, but when I stopped here, it felt like home. Mm. Um, maybe here, nobody, nobody cares about who you were. 
just care about who you are. Seems like it's worked out really well for you. You've, you've had an amazing career. Oh. Success beyond my wildest dreams. Only now, the story is that I'm another bitter writer. Couldn't handle it. Sure. <sighs> the real world, so he hid himself away. Is there any truth to that? As far as I'm concerned, this is the real world. Yeah, I agree with you. So you're telling me this whole time you've been here, there's been no one special? I don't know. Wouldn't say that. Uh, would you care to elaborate? Not yet. Uh, well, you got your notes, so... Yeah. Maybe we should... Okay, sure. <sighs> well, this is nice. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, uh, before you go, do you want to come inside for a cold drink? Yeah, sure. All right. Okay. Hey, Martin. Oh. Oh. Thought I had the wrong time. No, no, you um, yeah, the right time. I just uh, lost track of time. Sorry about that. Um, can we do a rain check on the Oh, drink? yeah, of course, of course, no problem. I I'm Thanks. Vanessa. Oh, hi, I'm Lauren. Oh, nice to meet you. Sorry, yes. Oh, so then guess who's waiting for him on his front porch? The girl from the library? Lauren. And he gets... Uh, uh, Vanessa is in town doing uh, an article. Great. And, and Lauren is, is a teacher who is uh, helping me with Founder's Day celebration. Great. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay. 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 Uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Hi. Sorry about the... Oh, I'm really confused. Oh, explain. Um, we... I'm not sure how to put it exactly. Try words. <laughs> we had a... Moment. Well, okay. And? And I wanted to keep it professional, so we went back to the house, and then guess who was waiting for him on his front porch? The girl from the library? Lauren. And he gets all weird, and he's, like, awkward, and just, like, didn't know what to do or say, and it was so strange. He's hiding something from me, and I don't know what it is. Well, you just have to keep digging. I don't have much time. Well, it is a date. It is a plan. It's a plan, yeah. Hi. Hi. I didn't I didn't catch you in the middle of something, did I? Um, no, no. I'm I'm just uh getting ready to turn on. What's going on? Well, I was uh hoping that we could talk about uh tomorrow. Yeah. What kind of manual labor do you have planned for me? Well, I was actually hoping that we could uh, switch it up. <laughs> okay, like what? Well, maybe um, grab a bite, uh, stroll through town. Or not, I, I, we don't... No, no, that sounds great. That's great. Great. All right. Well, it is a date. It is a plan. It's a plan, yeah. It's a plan <laughs> for tomorrow. Um, okay, great. What, uh, time? Let's, let's say six. Great, that's great. Okay. See you then. Take good care. You too. Thanks for getting a dinner. That was nice. Oh, you know, let's call it small town hospitality. <laughs> that's how we roll up here. Oh. So, uh, tell me something embarrassing. Something that most people don't know about you. I think you're missing the concept of interviewer-interviewee relationship. 
Maybe, but I was thinking that maybe. Yeah. They do? Stop it. No, really, I didn't know. Now I feel tonight we could forget about that. Just for tonight. It'll just be two people talking. Embarrassing, huh? Yeah. Um, I can't dance. <laughs> Really? Yeah, like, no, I've, not I, at all. No, not at all. I like. I try. I'll try. Uh -huh. Okay, so I remember we had to learn the one, two, three, one, two. It's like I, my brain tells my feet, and I that's, can't. It, that's I can't right. do it. That's... What about you? Um, had some embarrassing stories. When I was a kid. Thank you. Uh, I used to think that if you ate an apple seed, an apple tree would actually grow inside your stomach. I think all kids think that. Really? Yeah. They do. Stop it. No, really, I didn't know. Now I feel a lot better, actually. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is good. This is good. Um, well, I will tell you, I'm going to trust you with this now. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I also had an invisible friend. Her name was Victoria Farnsworth Longfellow. Oh, wow. Very royal. Yes, and she was a queen. Mm -hmm. She liked to order everybody around, <laughs> and I miss her terribly. You know, I have been uh, meaning to tell you something. Remember when I agreed to Scoop. Oh, yeah. I just can't imagine a world in which I am not. To do the interview, I said that there was something that I needed to tell the world. Yeah? I'm quitting. Are you serious? I am. What? I am. My career as a mystery writer has come to an end. Why? The last couple of years, I just I felt like all I've been doing is repackaging the same stories and new jacket covers. Wow. It definitely puts a new spin on the article, but... I thought you'd be happy. Uh, I'm happy for the article. I mean, that's it's a good... Um... Yeah, I mean, you have the scoop. scoop. Oh, yeah. I just can't imagine a world in which I am not looking forward to reading the next Martin Claiborne novel. Thank you for that. It's very sweet of you to say. But I wasn't even planning on making an announcement. I thought it was just best if I, you know, kind of faded away. Then I met you and you convinced me that my fans deserve the truth. They do. And I thought that this this was going to be a, a perfect platform, you know. This, this is this is the perfect way to go out. You're giving up a life so many people want. I would kill for your career. Then finish your. Novel. That is not the same. It's not that simple for me. I know you didn't ask for my two cents, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. The last thing you want to do is wake up and realize you didn't do what you were destined to. Trust me. Martin's gonna quit writing? Yeah, he's hanging it up. He says he doesn't have the passion for it anymore. It's quite a scoop he gave you. Yeah, we're gonna sell a lot of magazines. I'm not sure I'm satisfied with the ending, though. I can't believe he's gonna stop writing. He's giving up. And isn't that what you're doing by not finishing your novel, though? Boldly in the direction of your dreams and then give up when it gets really, really hard. I... No, I'm... 
I haven't had time. And look, if I get this promotion, which is a huge stepping stone toward me writing things I actually care about, then I'm not going to have time for much more of anything else anyway. What? I just don't want you to lose sight of your dreams. That's all. I'm not. Amber, trying to be a successful novelist is a really hard life. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. What? No. Oh, nothing, nothing. What? I just, I am thinking about you and your motto, which is go boldly in the direction of your dreams and live the life you've imagined. You know, it's not go boldly in the direction of your dreams and then give up when it gets really, really hard. I hear you. I know what I'm doing. Are you ready? Yeah, almost. Can I uh, use your printer? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> Perfect timing. I just bet good end in the lake. I just came by to give you this. What is this? My article. Oh, right, right. My agreement. I also came to say goodbye. We're going to head back. You're leaving now? Yeah. Oh. I can't thank you enough for... Danny Boyd, why does that name sound? That's your invisible friend. Now it's my pseudonym. Taking me on this adventure with you and welcoming me into your life. Wait, uh, I can't let you go. So I might need to show you. Oh, okay. Come on. So. The Awesome Adventures of Audrey the Owl, written by Danny Boyd. Danny Boyd, why does that name sound? That's your invisible friend. Now it's my pseudonym. This is you. You're not really retiring. Well, there will be no more books from Martin Claiborne, the mystery writer. This is the end of one chapter and the beginning of the next. And I didn't want this work to get an unfair advantage or disadvantage because of my name. Why children's books? Writing these makes me happy. And it's taken me a long time to realize that if it doesn't make you happy, it's not worth doing. Illustrations by Lauren Connor. Lauren is... A good friend who does amazing uh, illustrations. And I've got a big promotion coming and I don't know how this could work. You're here. Illustrations, why would it you think? I I thought uh, I I thought maybe there was something between the two of you. Oh, no. <laughs> just just friends. Oh. But um, but I did think that maybe there was something between you and I. Oh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well. Then what are we doing? I don't know. I I really like you. I I just have this whole life waiting for me, and I've got a big promotion coming, and I don't know how this could work. You're here, and I'm there. Timing is everything. Oh, um, I trust you. Thank you so much for your hospitality. We've always got room, so uh, don't be a stranger. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. That goes for both of you. <laughs> thank you all. Come here, you. 
Mm-hmm. Have a safe trip home, and I hope you got what you came for. Thank you. Oh, I miss this place. Oh, I miss it every time I leave, but then I remember that it'll always be here. Mm-hmm. And so will we. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Drive safe. Bye, guys. Pitch meeting today after lunch. I'll be there. Any spoilers? Yeah, a group of supermodels is opening a restaurant downtown. Say no more. I'm sure it'll be great, just like all your work. Though I'm not sure how you'll ever top your last effort. I'm not sure either. All right, I'll see you later. By the way, this new office really suits you. Thanks. Hey, Daddy. Perfect timing. Just hung your banners. What do you think? Ah, huh, not bad. Not bad? I think they're better than not bad. So you come to help out? I certainly have. Okay. Oh, and I have something for you. Some shots that didn't make it into the article. And uh, some of you and Vanessa. Get these. When did you? Ah, <laughs> uh, these are these are very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you should send her some too. I'm sure she'd like something to remember you by. Okay, guys, I'm here to help. Share me any messages? Nope, but you have a package. I left it on your desk. Oh, okay. Amber. Hey, what are you doing? I'm, uh, writing. writing writing on your book yeah I, I think so that's great I'm so happy to hear that that's awesome so have you heard from Martin sort of hey Amber are you still gonna go see your parents for Founders Day yeah I'm on my way there right now why you think there's room for one more at the end do not move I'm coming to get you right now for a girl like you to boost my ego Waiting for a girl like you Martin, hey, yes you, uh... I got your, um, message How you doing? It's another wonderful party Yeah, yeah So, are you going to stand here looking gloomy all night? Or are you going to go out there and have some fun? Gus, if this is your way of asking me to dance, I think I'm going to have to politely decline. <laughs> person I really want to dance with is miles and miles away. Don't be too sure about that. Mm-hmm. 
I still can't dance. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you? Uh... I got your um, message. Good. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, can I have your attention? We'd like to take this time just to thank everyone for coming out to yet another great Founders Day party. He's gonna make me do a speech. Do you want to get out of here? Yeah. Cool. Ah, it's raining. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh. I still can't believe you're here. I never thought I'd see you again. Really? Well, yeah, I'd, I'd hoped, but... But I didn't know. Seemed to be at a loss for words. It's quite a time for writer's block. I, I just figured if I'm gonna have a life motto, I should live by it, you know, go boldly in the direction of my dreams and... Live the life you imagine. Right. So, the thing is, the life I imagine includes you. I was hoping you'd say that. Michael Rady. A bacon snow game. Mm. Your bacon me crazy. Premieres next Saturday at 9. Heart of Spring Flame. Only on Hallmark Channel. The Heart of Spring.